What's up, everybody? This is Anthony with VR365. I am currently playing In Death on my Oculus Rift. Yes, In Death, one of my favorite games of this particular year. 2018, In Death arrived on February 1st. And it has been killing it ever since then. And you do have the Brookhaven Zombies. They are alive and well. That's a Brookhaven Zombie right there. Very similar to a Brookhaven Zombie. It is kind of cool how they float up in the air like that. And, you know, the gameplay, the gameplay for this game is just so on point. It is just so accurate. Pinpoint accuracy. It just works so well. This is a gamer's game. There's a reason why people rant and rave about this. It's not accidental. Okay, if you look at my health right now, I have six bars, but two of them are missing health. This is going to give me one of them. Okay, there we go. See, look, I got five out of six. Need to get my health up if I'm going to survive a long time. Oops. Okay, I'm run this is the teleporting arrow right here. I shouldn't be mo screwing around with that. I just need to go like this. It's been a while. I have not played this game in death in a long time, let me tell you. Um, but I love it. I love this game. I love the playability of this game. It's a roguelike, so you keep starting over and over and over again. And the layout of the level, it's like a procedurally generated thing. It just runs through these random orientations. And... In some ways, it's kind of irritating, but... Okay, so this is telling me to turn this way here. I gotta use a little bit more snap turning in this game to avoid the uh, arrow problem. Graphically, it works really well, really solid. See, I can take my teleporting shard and I can toss it over there. Let me see. Yeah, I can toss it over here. You can bypass certain areas. I can go up onto the roof. So you can go up onto the roof and you might be in a combat situation like this. Whoa, I got battle axes flying from very far distances. I got a lot of dudes that are attacking me up here. This was not an ideal scenario. Now, the guys with the arrows, they are the problem children. Those need to be dealt with first. The battle axe dudes are a concern. If I can get them in their head, I can deal with them. I'm going to drop down there. Whoa, okay, wait a minute. Can you get away from this dude? Taking damage, taking damage. So I died. That is a death in the game in death. So here's the deal. I did not do very well at all. That was pretty terrible. Pretty freaking terrible. Um, but I will return to Sanctuary. So I have returned. I have died. This is version number two. But look, that's the first time I've played in death in a long time. I needed that. That was like a practice run. Okay, so now this is the real deal. That was a practice run. This is the real deal. I've got my bearings back. I understand what I'm doing here.
see arrows are going to be incoming okay whoops here we go whoops now we got some flaming action alrighty I know there's yeah So the enemies are kind of dumb in certain ways, but they will gang up on you in terms of numbers. And it's all about surviving as long as you possibly can. And you know what? Your teleporting shard, this thing right here, this is your teleporting shard. This is your best friend. If you want to teleport a couple of feet that way, teleport a couple of feet behind you because you're trying to get away. You, can, you don't even need to look. I'm throwing this behind me. Boom, I'm teleporting behind me. You can go long distances with your teleporting shard. I This is the only way I travel. Or I use, you know, regular, you know, regular thumbstick movement. But the teleporting shard is what it's all about. Um... Now, the world of in-death, graphically, it's pretty cool. I like these walls, you know. It, it, it's very Catholic, let me tell you that. I mean, I was born and raised Catholic. I was a freaking Catholic boy in, back in the day. And uh, this is very Catholic to me. Just like the stained glass, like the way everything looks, it does look very much like a church or something like that. And especially with the music and the chanting and all of that, it is kind of cool in that way. It's just a cool little environment. And the bad guys, the bad guys can kind of freak you out sometimes. These guys will get up right by, right in your face. And they'll catch you off guard. They will catch you off guard. You better believe it. Okay, let's head over this way. Now, so let's see. Okay, so this wants me to go this way here. Now, I can use my teleporting shard. I can get down there. Oh, man, I've alerted a million dudes to my presence, and I'm not hitting any of them. Look at all those zombies and everybody. They're all running this way. Look at, they're all coming this way. Damn, these fools are on their high horse. These fools are on their run. These fools are coming to get me. They're coming to get me. Oh my God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Whatever am I to do? Uh. Oh, that dude is just chilling right there. Yeah, I do see, I see screen door effect. Like when I'm looking at that guy way the hell over there, I'm going to drop down there. Booyah, how about that? How about that for a teleporting shard? Yeah, the teleporting shard, the easiest way to travel in your VR world. If you want to travel in your VR world, give yourself this, a teleporting shard. It will teleport you, and it will shard you. And look at that big-ass stained glass window. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Lots of statues, lots of the creepy statues. I'm going to head this way a little bit. Okay. Just took care of three little zombies over there. So I know that this is probably a good direction for me to go. For now. Whoops. Okay, a lot of shots were very off on that, but that's okay. I'm still alive. See, the point of in-death 
is survive as long as possible. That is what in death is all about. It's, it's how long can you survive? Staying alive, staying alive. This is all about staying alive. Just keep on ticking. Survive as long as humanly possible. That's all in death is about. Survive as long as humanly possible. Which I am going to do to my damnedest abilities. Okay, I got full health. I got six little health bars. Feel pretty good about this. Oh, damn, that fool. Really got flabbergasted. This is the world. The world of in death. In death is brought to you by So Far Studios. We are so far ahead of the competition. So Far Studios. Now, I don't even know how that's pronounced. Soulful? Soulful Studios. Soulful Studios. Okay, I got my fire. I got my fire uh, arrows, which gives me strong powers. And we are waiting to see. Okay, so, you know, this is where you use your teleporting shard. I don't want to walk up all these darn steps. So you go ahead and you teleport a pretty good distance. And we got to travel. We got to hoof it. We got to hoof it to Nantucket. Now, I could go in there and get, like, some kind of upgrade or something, but I'm going to go ahead and skip that. Whoops. We need to stay on top of the bridge, not off of the bridge. Okay. As soon as we're close enough, we are now in range where we could start. Eh, I think I'm going to get a little bit closer. Here we go. We are now in range. We could possibly attack creatures of all origins. Oh, shit, I am taking damage from these arrows over here. I got a couple of archers in the distance. That guy's not even paying attention. Okay, so health, I did lose one health. So I got to keep an eye on my health. But I've survived for a long time. It's... It's a matter of how many points am I accumulating. It's, you know, it's not survival. Whoa. Okay, this guy got right up in my face. Like, they'll come around a corner, and you will get slightly freaked out in this game. This is probably not for the squeamish. For some people, this might seem like a horror game for some people. Like, I don't see it as a horror game. But I know it has, uh, I'm not shooting very good from over here. Let me get a little bit closer. There we go. Alrighty. So we continue to move along. I don't know where my, I don't know how many points I have. Let me see if I hit one of these buttons. Does it show anything? Um, this is just showing my arrow numbers. Yeah, I don't believe I can see, like, how many points I've racked up. So I guess you pretty much have to wait until you die to find out. Oh, what? Someone is attacking me from some other direction. So I need to quickly get the hell out of dodge. Ah, oh, that dude behind me. That's the guy. Yeah, that's the guy. Somebody over here trying to F around. Sneak behind my back. Sometimes I like to head back in the previous direction to make sure that I don't got somebody creeping up from the back from the backside. Creeping up from the backside. Okay, we can take some of these guys out. Hopefully. From a safe distance. 
The Brookhaven zombies, you only need to hit those guys once for most of the Brookhaven zombies. You could hit them in their ankle, their kneecap, their left thigh. It does not need to be a headshot. You only need to hit those Brookhaven zombies one single time. Um, the knights, if you hit them with a perfect headshot, you can take them out. Okay, so I can drop down there. Or I gotta get a little bit closer here. Alrighty, yeah, so you can cheat it a little bit. I could try shooting those guys over there, but they're so far away that it's gonna be hard to accurately get them. Okay, this restocks ammo for for one arrow type. Alright, whatever. Let's see. Okay, yeah, we'll just have a ton of flaming arrows. Flaming arrows are solid. They do a lot of damage. Flaming arrows do significant damage. I'm, I'm good with flaming arrows. So I got a guy way up there in the top of that tower. We got a ton of guys on the bridge. We got guys all over the place. The question is, when are they going to start firing on me? They haven't started yet. Um... I can probably, let me see, I might be able to. Ah, damn, we're taking damage. Okay, now this guy teleported down here on the ground. This guy is shooting his arrows way down low. Oh, he just tra teleported. Boom, right in your face. Okay, so I have taken some significant damage. Look at this. Three of my health units are gone. My health is down to half. I have taken legitimate damage, and there are lots of creatures in this upcoming facility. So I've got to be smart about it. We cannot afford to take easy damage. I'm going to back the hell up. Give myself some space. See, once the zombies, once they know that there's activity, they'll follow the rest of their, they'll follow the rest of their group outside. And so you just have to back up. You can take them all out. It's so effortless. Whoa. It's, oh, come on. It's so effortless to shoot these arrows and it feels so good. I'm missing a lot of my shots. Like, I am missing crazy shots. But I haven't played in death in a long time. And I'm still alive. You know, I've still survived for quite some time. We'll have to see what my final score is once I finally succumb. Way higher. Yeah, see these fire arrows, like it doesn't hurt them at first, but then that extra flame power activates and does extra damage. So we got guys over here. We bypass this area. But I don't mind backtracking and, like, taking out people that I should have took out a long time ago. But I am not doing a very good job of it right here. And we're just sending a lot of people our way.
And that may have been most of the enemies that are over here. Well, let's take a quick check. This is what I used to do back in the old days of video games is like, I used to like clearing out a level. Did anybody ever used to like doing that? Where you'd like to kill every enemy on the level. You want to get every single one of them. If it's the kind of game where the enemies don't automatically regenerate. There's lots of games where enemies regenerate. This game, they don't regenerate. If you really clear an area out, that area will not have enemies. You got to go towards a new area to get to enemies at that point. And um, I enjoy clearing it out. So we'll head down this way. I believe we pretty much got everything. So we don't really need to go back in that castle. We probably want to head down this way. Now, I'm almost out of my fire arrows. Look at that. It's blinking right now. I have very little... Maybe like an arrow or two left. Maybe one arrow, maybe two arrows of my fire arrows. And my health is down to half. And you do not get health. It is pretty rare that you get health in this game. Health is not a not a easy to come by. So I'm going to have to be careful and avoid basically stampedes of too many enemies or getting caught in a certain situation where I get rushed by a whole bunch of enemies. That's really the concern. And we got to do quite a bit of traveling here. But you know what? The teleporting shards, I mean, you chuck these babies, they move quite a bit. And you sometimes want to have a bit of distance on your enemy to be able to take it out in the proper way. And I could teleport like up there on that roof, which wouldn't wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea. So, oh, woo, that is a that is actually a health. That is blood of the lamb. That will give me four health bars. That is huge. That is absolutely huge. That is really huge. You don't get a lot of power ups in this game. You really don't. I'm telling you, they're rare. I, I got to cover my backside, you know what I'm saying? Because I hear somebody creeping. Okay, see, here's my health bar. There we go. Now we got four. Four little health nuggets really helps out. It's a lot better than three. Four is a lot better than three. Okay, we got a whole bunch of enemies sitting over here. Oh, damn it. Okay, we are taking damage. We are taking damage, Johnny. See, these guys can teleport just as good as I teleport. But you know what? Oh, damn it. I took a headshot. I took a straight up headshot, folks. I am, I am at death door. If I allow myself to... I am at death door. Look at this. I've got two health bars. I've got two health bars. My heart is beating faster. Let's listen. Hear that? I need some power-ups like a mofo. I really need some power-ups super bad. Come on, give me a power-up, please. Give me the blood of the lamb power-up. Ah. Uh, okay, there's probably some bad dudes that way. I'm going to head this way as my heart continues to pump but you know I'm, I'm, I'm having a struggle here I've only got two health and oh what I could teleport right over to there but I still want to kind of explore this area I still even though I'm damn near dead I still like to clear I like to clear levels, you know? I like to clear levels of enemy. Well, at least in this kind of a game I do. In this kind of a game, you actually can clear a level. 
and I love clearing levels. Reminds me of the old classic video game days. I like clearing levels. Let's head this way. Okay, you know, this is kind of cool. You're like in these really huge barns and stuff. Um, the, the enemies will be just waiting around in a pack like that. And they're not very dangerous when they're just, they're basically waiting, they're idling. They're waiting for you to activate their, their trigger. Oh, dang it. I cannot afford to take any more damage. I still got my two health. Okay, I did not take damage. I gotta get this guy before. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, there we go. Okay, so he's dead. I still got two health. I'm still alive. It is all about staying alive. That's what this game is all about. How long can you stay upright? How long can you cheat death? Can you cheat death for a lengthy period of time? Or are you going to die really quickly? Oh, uh, get your shot on. Damn, I am missing shots so badly. But I really need a power up. I mean, I need a power up like nobody's business. I'd love to get my health to three health bars. I would love to get my health to three health bars. Okay, I think I've been this way. Let me go back. Let me go over here. I did see a zombie down that way. Um, yeah, I'm going to head back over here. Oh, look at that. Look at that, ladies and gentle bots. Look at that. We are about, our heartbeat is about to chill out. Look at that. Our heartbeat has stopped tripping. We're not hearing it pump like crazy anymore. What a beautiful thing. Okay, so I could stand over here and kill these zombie dudes. That's for sure. But I may have activated, yeah, see, I'm going to activate some other dudes that are going to take off on the run. Let's see if I can get this guy. Woo, that was a nice distance shot. See, if you get a lot of distance shots, you get a lot more points. And you can get higher up the leaderboard if you get a lot of points. But those distance shots are nice. I wonder what the maximum number of points you can get for just shooting a regular zombie. I, I guess it has, it has to do, like that was 301. That's 301 points. I could have took serious damage right there. I kind of went into that room blind. I do not recommend that. This is for stunt jockeys only. Oh, come on, get on, stay on target, stay on target. Oh, I had to duck. I had to duck like Chuck. So, I mean, there's endless numbers of bad dudes. Has anybody else noticed that? Of course, it just keeps regenerating more and more levels more and more little areas with more and more of these enemies. I'm just trying to see how long I can how long I can last without dying and see what you know what can I get my score up to. Whoa. Had to duck that one and I'm 
I'm off the mark here. Trying to make sure I get around the corner with my with my arrow shot. Ooh, I like that. That looks nice. Just, you know, how the sun is coming through right there. Look at, there's dudes like way over, way over yonder. I can kill fools from hella far. I see a guy. Whoa. Gotta dodge these arrows sometimes. But yeah, I like, you know, returning back to the sunny look here. I can teleport right over there. Let's try it. So I'll take my teleporting shard, try tossing it over there. Okay, that's too high. Got to get lower. Toss it, but then there we go. See, look, now I'm over here. So your teleporting shard will allow you to really maneuver around this world really quickly. And it gets you out of danger like you wouldn't believe. Uh, gets you out of danger like you would not believe. That teleporting shard, let me tell you, it comes in super duper handy. Now, I don't know if I should be headed that way. Kind of lost track of where I'm at here. Um. Yeah, I don't, am I supposed to go that way? I cannot remember if I'm supposed to go that way or if I'm supposed to go maybe way hella, way, way that way. I'm gonna try this way, but man, I may be going backwards. Let me see. Whoops. You gotta stay low enough so that your shard actually hits the ground. It's got a... Oh, look at this. Okay, this might be like one of the boss levels or something like that, which this is cool because to have this on a Let's Play randomly, like I was not prepared for this, so this will be fun. This will be exciting. Um, so I think I'm going to see some new enemy types, right? Because of the update, like, won't there be some new, possibly some new enemy types? So this should be quite interesting. In Death, definitely one of my favorite games of the year 2018. A game that I have put a lot of time in. Oh, you know what? I have been to these kinds of levels before. I've been to these one time. This is, yeah, I've been to a level that was very similar to this. So, I've been here before. It just looked different to me, I guess. But yeah, this is easily one of my favorite games of the year 2018. It arrived on February 1st. And it recently came to PlayStation VR. You can get this on PlayStation VR now. Um, I don't know how good the place... Oh, this is nice. These are... Whoops. Let's see here. Yeah, these arrows are nice. These ice arrows. Look at this. Boom. So you get to freeze a dude and then you hit him again. You can take him out. Winter's Bone. Winter's Bone. Okay, so you can see this is showing me how many of those ice arrows I got in terms of that weapon. And my health is down to three. So I still am in a bit of a danger zone. If I take one more hit, my heart's going to start beating. And I'm going to be potentially in a downer situation. Now, the, the downside of the ice deal is you're basically just shooting two arrows. You're not getting a ton of points. The nice thing about it is it's easy as, it's easy as can be. It's so freaking easy. You know, you, whoa, you just hit a guy like that, you hit him again, and he's done. Ooh, somebody just shot an arrow at me from behind, and I don't know where he's coming from. So I need to figure out where is this guy coming from. Where is this dude? I heard somebody. F oh, there he is. Oh, shit. Oh, man, dude, I am taking... Uh, I am taking serious damage here, folks. 
Oh, you know what? Look at I have a little bit more than two. It's not exactly two, but you can see the color. <laughs> the color has disappeared because I am seriously injured. This could be the end of my run. This could be the end of my run. Oh, blood of the lamb up there. Okay, can I get up there safely without... Oh, I sh... There's blood of the lamb right there. Yes. Yes. So now my health is fully up to three. My ice arrows are almost completely gone. I am almost out of ice arrows. Okay, I got to get reoriented. Let me go this way like this. And then go like this. Yeah, so this is what we call a really, really, really long let's play. But this is a roguelike, and I think it's it's cool to kind of show the whole the whole thing. I mean, your your entire run, right? At least until you die. Like as soon as I die, obviously this is done. Um, so I guess is it somebody over there? No. I guess we want to go down those stairs. Let's go down these stairs. Doesn't it look inviting, folks? Doesn't this look like a friendly place to travel? Like, who in their right mind would want to go down here with all these weird-ass creatures that are everywhere? You've got, to, you've got to be looking for... Looking for an amazing adventure. Because otherwise, why would you come here? I don't know if I can go out there. Oh, that's pretty cool. That looks pretty nice how that sun is coming in with a cloud like that. Okay, I'm turned the wrong way. But I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, wait, I need to go like this. There you go. Okay, yeah, so we will be dealing with enemies now. We're almost, I think we got maybe one more arrow. And I, and I wasted it. One more arrow and I didn't even take advantage of it. But you know, the regular standard arrows work really good for me. The regular standard arrows. Standard issue. See, the body just goes right through you. Take out the leader. Take out the leader. Oh, what? Okay, now we got a whole lot of zombies. Oh my god, that was terrible. That was a terrible death. That was a terrible, terrible death. Man, that was... Oh, look at all the dudes I killed. That is hella cool. Look at that. It shows all the dudes you killed. Wow, that is sweet. That is hella sweet. Um, like, can I check the leaderboard? I don't know why it's not showing me. Oh, wait, here we go. Okay, so these are like the top dudes in the world. And here's where VR Game Rankings is. I don't know. I don't know where I'm at. But new achievement unlocks. We got some unlocks and stuff like that. All right, folks, man, that was terrible at the end there, the way I died. I don't know what I was doing. It was just laziness. It was total laziness on my part. 
But anyway, that's going to go ahead and do it for this particular Let's Play. This, of course, was in death. And um, we will be back with more Let's Plays in the future. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Later. Thank you.